Hi there, welcome to my new tutorial. My name is Andre Kruger from Dagubi. Today I would like to show you how to create this flower frame. First step, I'm going to create a flower. Choose the ellipse tool and create a new oval like this and fill it with black and no stroke. Then make a copy from this oval. This holds the Alt key and drag it so. Rotate it a little bit and scale it so. Okay, now choose the re Reflect tool and click by holding the Alt key on the center of this shape. The axis is vertical and click on copy. So now select all these shapes, go to the Pathfinder and click on unit. Now I start to create a second leaf, create a small oval and now make copy by holding the Alt key. Rotate it, move it down, OK, and choose the Reflect tool and click by holding the Alt key. Axis is vertical and click on Copy. Now select this three shapes on Pathfinder, click on Unit. Now bring this shape here and select those shapes and click on horizontal line center ok now go to pathfinder and click on minus front so next create a new oval it here, select both shapes, click on line center, go to objects and make a compound path. Now I scale it a little bit smaller, go to effect, distort and transform and choose place this transform. We need four copies by 72 degree and click on preview. So we need it from this center. Cl please click on this little point in the center of the bottom. OK. That's good. Click OK. Now select only this little circle Oops, sorry select this with the direct selection tool and move it up okay that's right that's okay and now select this shape and go to objects and click on expand appearance. So now select this um, with the direct selection tool, select this center and delete them. Now select all the shapes and rotate it a little bit. Now go and choose the paintbrush tool and please choose this five point brush and create a line. So move this line. 
scale it okay now I'm going to deform this line I need this white tool but before I do that go to the brush definition and click on basic and make it to six point now you can deform with this white tool this line make it a little brighter okay go to the stroke panel and click on round cap Okay, now go to Objects and click on Expand Appearance. Next, I apply a stroke color, white, and make it four points. Okay, now choose this Blob Brush tool, uh, make a double click on this tool, and you can change the size to 6 ok, 6 is ok no stroke and black fill color ok, click here and here make some points So next I'm going to create a second shape, create a new oval and now select these two points and click on move selected anchor points. Now please hold the ALT key and you can Click on this handle and can deform it. Okay, this handle I'll make it so. Okay. fill is black and non-stroke color so now add two points click here and here and now move this center point so and please hold the alt key and you can drag this handle Okay, the next step is to we need to create a brush from this leaf. This is an election tool. Drag this leaf in the brush panel and choose Art Brush. Okay, and method. Click on Tints, and the brush scale of change is scaled proportionately. Okay. So the brush looks so. We need a second brush to draw this on the left side. Make a copy from this art brush, drag it into the new brush button and make a double click and you can flip this across. Okay, when you draw with this brush, you can draw it on to the left side. Okay, so delete all these shapes. Ok, 
Okay, next we need to create a new layer, move it down and create a new oval. So fill is none and black stroke color, make it to 12 points. Now go to the flower layer and move the flower here. Now we need to apply a stroke to this flower, create, uh, make a copy from this layer, select this layer and click by Pathfinder on Unit. Now apply a stroke color. Please choose this gray. Okay, and set it to 10 points. Go to Objects and click by Path on Outline Stroke. And click by Pathfinder again on Unit. So now we need to delete this inner path. Please select with the group selection tool the outline stroke. Now go to select and click on inverse and press delete. Oh, sorry. Only this inner path. Press delete. Okay. So now enable the flower layer and change the color from gray to white. Please move the flower in this white shape layer. Okay. Please go to the layer with this oval and make a copy. Select the lower path and go to variable white profile and click on this first profile. Change the color to red and make the stroke to 24 points. Okay. Now we need to scale this flower, but before I do that, go to Objects and click on Path, Outline Stroke. Okay, now you can stroke, uh, scale this flower, like so. Okay, rotate it a little bit. Now make a copy from this flower, make it smaller. Rotate a little bit. Okay, and make another copy. Scale it smaller. Okay, and another copy. Place it here. Or here. Ok, the next step I'm going to create with my custom leaf brushes. Create a new layer, move it down. Uh, ok, now choose the paintbrush tool. Change the fill color to none and choose black color. Ok. Choose this first brush and control with this brush. Take the second brush and you can draw on the left side. Here. 
meet them to the right side in the first launch letter. brushes and try to draw under the flower. So at last, if you want, you can add a gradient to these leaves. Please select all these leaves, go to objects and click on expand appearance. And now go to gradient and add this white black gradient. Or you can change it to black and dark red. Here. So, or you can copy this layer and go and choose this gradient tool, and you can change the gradient. So, okay, now it's finished. Thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial, please press thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you want to see more of my tutorials, please subscribe my channel. Hope to see you soon.